Hey guys, I'm back and welcome to further, further uh, episodes of Pokemon Dark Rising. One moment. Now, in this episode, we're going to go in here. You, I know you. You're Jean Blake's child. How? How did you know? Please, come with me. My name is Emmett Cole. I work with your father. Hey mister, you seem to know about my father. No shit. Do you have any idea where he is? No, I'm afraid not. But, but what? If you, if you know anything, please let me know. I made a promise to your father years ago to never speak of this with any of the children. The children? Is my father alright? And what's going on in the core region? Hmm, this is desperate times. Very well. If you can prove to me that you are strong enough, I will tell you. Now you are speaking my language. Let's do this. So we're battling Archae scientist Emmett Cole. Seems to know our father, so let's give him a beating for knowing our dad. Yawn. Oh, looks like Slowpoke's got the same tactic I have with Muna. Well, it's good because Slowpoke's dangerous, so we want to get it. Um, over. But I've got to move. I've got to move out. Uh, move out from Muna quickly to um, avoid Muna falling to that sleep attack. So we'll have to take a um, confusion there with Staravia. But I'm confident Staravia can do do some work with wing attack. So. Even more so with Slowpoke being asleep. Now Slowpoke's back up and running. Emmett Cole's got a super potion, you would expect to. So let's just smack him with a couple of wing attacks and hopefully we can knock that big big fella out before Staravia succumbs to sleep. Because we do need Staravia on his on her feet. Emmett Cole's going for Drift Loon. I'm going to switch to Darumaka at this point. I know there's a huge level discrepancy. But. Rollout is super effective against flying types. So hopefully Rollout can get a couple of crits. And can put down put Drifloon where it belongs. On the ground. Like that. Darumaka will obviously level up because of the level discrepancy. And he's got an Absol. Again, Staravia is the best one I've got for this. And of course, the Astonish will lower its attack, so... Razor Wind's not going to do all that much damage. Finish it off with a, with a couple of wing attacks. Staravia up to level 23 and it's learning Aerial Ace. Fantastic. Let's lose takedown. I'd much rather have Aerial Ace than Takedown. Please keep this knowledge with you. Alright. Years ago, when your father was around the same age as you, he joined a group. A group of remarkable people. What? My father joined the Avengers? <sighs> a group of remarkable people that defeated one of the most evil creations the world has ever seen. So, my father joined the Avengers. No! This creature is so evil, people never speak its name anymore. What's the name? Darugis. Hmm, I heard some thugs talking about it. Then it is true. I am afraid Darugis has somehow broken the seal and returned. He must have captured your father because he was the only one strong enough to seal him away. 
If this is true, the core region, no, the whole world is in grave danger. Then I'll do it. This time, I'll seal Darugis. Darugis's power is far greater than yours. I must contact Professor Oak on this matter. Only one trainer can stop him. Who? Ash Ketchum, the Pokemon League champion. But that's my father right there. I'm not just going to sit around here and wait for him to be rescued by the star of the anime. I'm also going to save him. I'll train as hard as I can just to save my dad. Very well. I admire your bravery, young one. So what are you still doing here? Get out there and save your father. Alright, thanks for everything. Thing is, the gym leader's too tough for me. But, we'll have to, um, come up with something. I mean, maybe we can beat the fire type gym leader now that we've got aerial ace, but I'm not sure. At least let's heal up. Thank you, thank you, Dr. Roy. He's gonna have another shot at the gym leader. I'll batter you, Fiery. I'm gonna extinguish you. Muna, put it to sleep. Ow, Muna, I'm sorry. Ah, oh, synchronize! It didn't work! Haha! <laughs> oh no, it's the fire types are. It's still burnt, but synchronized. It would, would normally have. Um, put magic coat up. I'm hoping to sleep now. You got your side beam. You got your side beam. Try and put ball picks down, Muna. Try and put him down. Oh, bloody hell, of course she's got a hound hour. Okay, um. You're down anyway, Muna. Up you comes to Ravia. Let's go for an aerial ace. Wow! One aerial ace nearly wiped you out. Let's hit it again. Even with a potion, I think I might take you. Down goes Houndour. Houndour was not a problem. And in comes Heatmore, which is the last po last Pokemon. This aerial ace worked the first time. Let's try it again. Shit! Fire Punch hits like... Well, hits like a fire punch. <laughs> Heatmore's going to take out Staravia, but he's got very limited health. I think Gibble could take it. Gibble, use Mud Slap. Yeah! Down you go, Heatmore. Gibble's up to 22, which means Gibble learns Dig. I'm gonna keep. Uh, I'm gonna keep Dig. I'm gonna have Dig rather than Mud Slap. I know it's a two turn thing, but it is a 60. Oh, Volpix is still around. But Volpix is, still, is um, asleep and. Um, well, it's Volpix, so. Get underground. And one dig and down goes full picks. Ah, oh, I took you for granted. This is how I lost them. So we got the flame badge from Fiery. Or a reskinned Flannery. TM50. Uh, that's f what, what does that do? Overheat. So we're done with this we're done with this gym leader. Which means we can move on. But we're going to need to stock up on some objects first. You should never go out in the field without potions. And repels. So. 
let's head to the Pokemart next to the uh, the, the biggest fat man I've ever seen in one in a Pokemon game. You can get Firestones here. Hmm. I suppose that makes sense. This, this is this is like the Fire Town. Are they expensive though? And obviously, I don't think I've got anything that Firestone could assist with. So let's head to. Whoa! Here we go. What's going on here? All right, men, to Water's Cavern. Move out! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm going to test my Pokemon on you. And then when I win, I'm going to eat you. Pokemaniac Scott Colton would like to battle. He's got a Growlithe. Muna! Growlithe needs to go to bed now. Thank you, Muna. Good night, Growlithe. And a Cyndaquil. You know your stuff, Muna. Psybeam until they become dead. Do it. Okay, Moona's, Moona got burnt again. That is, of course, a bitch, but... Shouldn't have a pro... Is Glygar dark? Yes, I think it is. Well, I thought it was flying ground. Oh, I don't know. Uh, Staravia, go. Anything that came in in the Ruby and Sapphire, not the Ruby and Sapphire, the um, Diamond and Pearl generation, I'm not completely hot on when it comes to what I know about them. Because I only played them once and um, didn't uh, didn't really, you know, it was still a bit of a Still, we're still a bit of a Gen 1 at the time, so. So, didn't actually uh, learn, you know. Flame Wheel on the Polywag, Aerial Ace on the Vulpix. Hang on, Darumaka. Every laser do the job. Ah, oh, Darumaka's learning facade. No. Let's get you back. Because you actually need to be trained up. So. Um, Gibble holding. Oh, we yeah, the dragon thing. There's a lot of trainers here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to skip through as many of them as I can, and I will battle. I will come back and battle them off off screen because I don't want this to be full of constant battles with the same trainers, you know. And you you can see all these trainers I can beat without breaking too much of a sweat. So I'll just fight them off screen between the episodes like we're gonna finish this episode in about in about, about six, six or seven minutes so I'll just come back and wipe them out off screen right I don't want Muna to learn swift do you want Muna to kill Taylor though I think it's a bit, bit, a bit of a lazy design. It's just a Robin, it's just a Robin Red tits, isn't it? So oh, either way, we we um we smashed that we smashed that youngster so hard he's taking a he's taking account of his faculties and whether or not wearing shorts in the rain was a good idea. So here's where we could get Starlies if we hadn't got one when we did. 
We could have come back and got them and... Fuck me, that one's got pursued and it killed Muna. Bastard. Okay, meet your big brother. Go Staravia. Yeah, oddly, Starly seems to be bigger than Staravia, but that's just probably some sort of spriting thing. Anyway, hit it with Aerial Ace and knock it into next Saturday. I just remembered I said big brother. I think I have to put a pet... I think I have to put a quid in the swear jar for saying the name of a terrible TV show. Oh well. Ooh, you're not doing anything. Let's talk to you. There's a house. It's got a dude in it. I'm the fishing guru. Yeah, Fishing Guru, you would have been useful when I needed water Pokemon to fight the fire gym. You dick. Look who's here. It's the kid who I mistakenly thought to be nothing but a vessel for an evil monster. Who are you? Are you also trying to find out something about Darugis? If that's the case, we're on the same side. <laughs> you know nothing about Darugis? You're only a kid. A curious kid? I seek revenge on Darugis. Revenge? I don't know who the heck you are, but Darugis has my father, and I am going to rescue him. At least you still have a family. Last time I was merely testing you. Now let's see what you really got. Bring it. So this one's coming out with a Larvesta at level 21. That's a bug fire type. So I'm thinking rollout might be the way to go here. And that's Larvesta out of the way. Nice chunk of experience for Darumaka too. What? It has m Axew. Okay. Fuck. Axew's pretty fucking strong. Okay, that's quite worrying. Um, Alright, go Gibble. You know, dragons and all that. Dragon Breath. Good, paralyzed, stay that way. Haha. -ha. Okay, use a super potion if you want. Dragon Breath again, hopefully. Come on. Don't kill Gibble. Yeah, Gibble got him first. Down goes Axew. Good work. And a Riolu. Riolu is a bit weaker, but I'm going to stick to what I know. Dig. Okay, Reversal's going to knock out Gibble. That's not good, but Staravia is a bit of a monster, so Staravia can do some work now. Staravia, let's go for an Aerial Ace. Nice one. Down goes Riolu. We knocked your ass out, you blue haired bint. We'll meet again somewhere. Bye. Okay, well, I've got to go back to town and um, train up my Pokemon, so I'm going to battle these trainers when I I'm going to go there. Ooh, a Ponyta. Hmm. You know, I am tempted that maybe a Rapidash would be a better option than Darumaka, than training up Darumaka. Yeah, let's do it. Let's swap Ponyta for Darumaka for Ponyta. I'm just, I'm just thinking the Darmanitan idea probably isn't as good an idea as having a Rapidash. So now we've got one of them. Alright, well I'm going back to town. I might as well try and fight you on the way. Staravia, kill the Growlithe. This little girl sicked her dog on you. Would you mind um, caving its head in? And leaving it in a mess for her to bury in her back garden. While she cries over his corpse for weeks. Well done Ponyta. First fight and you've already kicked some ass. Stay in, it's a cottony. 
If you get off the first move, it'll die. Ember. It didn't die. Shit. Stay over here, would you? Thank you, darling. Right, air lace. Don't take any prisoners to Ravia. We ain't got time for that shit. Well done, Staravia. No prisoners, as I always said. So we'll dash past here. And now we're back in town. Right, we're at 20 minutes, so I'm closing off. In the next episode, we'll, we'll enter that cave that you saw up ahead. Provided we can do that. I'll be checking that out. But I'm going to fight those trainers off screen and do so and get, get myself ready for that cave. So I'll see you guys in that cave. Goodbye.